Winston Edmondson here, checking in with Studio B. About to get an education. I've got Randy and Rajit with mm -hmm. Panzura. Tell me what you guys are working on. What do you guys have? All right, so I'll give you an example. We did a very exciting uh, press release this morning, EXP Services, an engineering firm with 109 sites. They modify the entire local filers to use Panzura. So essentially, the way you can think about us is 109 sites. What somebody would have used a NAS filer like a NetApp, now uses Panzura, but all the authoritative copy of that data sits in the middle. Think of it as sitting in EMC Cloud, Atmos Cloud, a Viper Cloud. You know, if you come to this conference, I'm surely you've heard about Viper. Very, very exciting. A lot of different uh, superheroes for, r running around. But uh, Panzura, what we do is we enable the cloud to look like the data is always next to the user. You don't have to modify your data, you don't have to modify your applications, and your workflow remain exactly how it always was. Interesting. Yeah, 109, so we've got, we're, we're breaking news here. Uh, what, what do you have to say? What, 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 what uh, 109, I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. What, what else do you have working? So we have, uh, we sit on top of cloud storage, so that's basically what uh, uh, Randy was mentioning, and that's the future now, right? I mean, from a Viper point of view, from an EMC Atmos point of view, people are centralizing into a object store, which is where really you can build capacity. And what we are doing is basically making that capacity available to any location, anywhere, and essentially extending this whole software-defined storage layer all the way to specific locations, to the edges where people need the data. Randy Rajit, there's a lot of uh, options out there and quite frankly a lot of uh, CIOs are a little confused. They don't know what the right option is. Why don't you walk us through some case studies and help some folks understand uh, you know, what, what, what scenario might, might work for this solution so that they can see that it works for theirs. Absolutely, the two that the two examples that we have in our booth, the XP services, which was announced this morning. If you have a lot of sites that use a lot of storage, we're talking about engineering sites, uh, multimedia, government, uh, healthcare, and federal. Um, there, there's really no other solution today that, that enables the cloud the way we actually enable. So if you have more sites, you don't have to go to 109. The DOJ bought 265 sites, as you probably know. The Enron XCO was released today. All the Enron case files are actually sitting on Panzera today. So very, very exciting. So if, whether you have an Enron case study, whether you have CAD design in 109 offices, Panzera is the solution to go. It's fascinating. You know, we, we, Enron, for some reason, keeps coming up in the various interviews today. Uh, what, any, any other case studies that uh, just come to mind for me? So as Randy was mentioning, we are in many different industries. And this problem is across all industries because Typically, 100% of the enterprise are distributed. There's no, no more concept of a local company. Everybody is distributed. Media and entertainment, so we have very large customers in the media and entertainment space. DreamWorks is another big example for us where we have DreamWorks using us to do um, uh, sharing of large media assets and they have artists who are in LA, artists in New York who are collaboratively working on the same data and are able to share all of that with each other. Very similar to the DOJ use case, very similar to the EXP use case, just the files tend to be different but they're all very large files and they're getting larger and larger and the aspect of distribution is getting bigger and bigger where teams are getting spread out not just within the United States but across the United States. We have many customers who are doing development work in India, support work in uh, other parts of the world, and bringing all of that into the United States all within this uh, concept of a centralized cloud storage. So a lot of projects are actually taking shape because you're enabling it, otherwise they, they really wouldn't have been able to do that. Pretty fascinating. Uh, one problem that I've spoken with a lot of CIOs about, and they're pretty concerned, is as soon as they zero in on what they feel is uh, an appropriate step for their business, they feel like uh, the, the, the line has moved for, further and they, and they get lost again. Absolutely. Help us project out a little bit. Tell us what the future holds and, and what they can look forward to. Absolutely. The vision that Panzora has, and we share this vision with uh, EMC, we believe everything within the data center is all going to be SSDs. Everything that the CIOs are managing or purchasing, it should really be driven from an SSD standpoint. Everything else, unstructured data, should go to the cloud. That should be served by somebody else. You don't want to be hiring your own people to be doing boring stuff. They should be on the tier one storage, right? They shouldn't be dealing with tier two storage. That's where Panzera comes in. We take care of all the other stuff. All the infrastructure data that you don't want to deal with. You frankly don't want it in your own data center. You don't want your people to be managing that. That's what should be going to the cloud. And that's frankly why I think we feel EMC Viper is so exciting, right? That is the same vision that we share with a lot, not just from a startup standpoint, but a lot of the very, very large storage companies. So companies can really experience some, some transformative growth by offloading some of that stuff that they really shouldn't be messing with to you guys. 
for folks that are excited, they're listening in there and they're ready to, to jump on board, what's the best way to get in touch with you or, or at least uh, find out about some of these options? Sure, so you can visit us on www.panzera.com. Uh, you can also uh, check out our uh, Twitter site where we constantly put news articles out as well as we have a Facebook page. So there are many different ways you can connect with us. We'll be happy to have a conversation with you. We have sales uh, uh, people across the United States as well as internationally. So if you are an international customer, please do reach out to us and we'll put you in touch with our counterparts over there. Last, last, yeah. One final addition onto that. We are part of ETP program from EMC. We're ETP Platinum, so that's another way to reach us. Last word, Randy. The, we've got some CIOs that are watching, yep. but they're holding out. They're not ready. They feel like they can't do it. Convince them. One last chance. Absolutely. you got to talk to the CIOs of our customers. Mark Fleshman from the DOJ, EA Electronic, our CIO, EXP, who was here today, HRT CIO, who actually was part of the keynote at EMC. This is, this is something that's starting from last year, Q3 of last year. Product market fit has been there. you got to jump in right now. You don't want to be late to the game. It's not an option. Winston go. Edmondson signing out. Randy Rajit, thanks for the time. Studio B, talk to you soon.